you know, I love using the ball first trainer for chipping as well. And we know that there are a lot of chip, you know, people that chip the golf ball very poorly. And again, what we see is it impact, the weight's on the back foot, the club head is passing the hands, and they're scalling or hitting behind the chip shot. What I love about this is I can go ahead and put the golf ball, I'm gonna put it on this larger arrow, club head's gonna be here, and right away, this is helping me to go, wait, I gotta get my weight more left, which is really key, and it's helping me to ensure that I'm not gonna hit this, the, the ball first trainer on the way down. And so here from this point, it's also making me create a slight hinge, which is necessary for all great chipping. You don't want a one piece takeaway in chipping because if you do, you're gonna be taking the mat away with it. So the goal is, is slight hinge is really good. And then I feel like I'm leading like this to hit the chip shot and take a look at where that divot is. That divot was well forward of even the forward line, which is a good sign that I have good forward lean in chipping. So I, I think it's fantastic for that.